Hello, Facebook, YouTube, Facebook, and YouTube. All right, topic of the message. Okay, I hope you got the understanding scenario. People that are of the church, reproving can only manifest the light of Christ. Reproving, not keep doing what you're normally doing that is not producing the right results, but it's reproving. We can only truly manifest the light of Christ, but that's gonna be the ideal topic of my message concerning that scenario. It's called the reality of light. Okay, it goes, the truth, the truth is light and the light is truth. Yeah, the truth is light and light is the truth. Now, Mac, where are you going with this idea that the truth is light and light is the truth? Well, well, here's the thing. Let's talk about who Jesus is. Yes, that's what's going to help me, guide me to this understanding of this message. Well, Jesus Christ is, according to John 14 and 6, he's the way, okay, emergency. He's the way, hello, how you doing? He's the way, the truth, and the life. And notice the truth part right there. And he's, according to John, let's see, I think, eight, one of, so many times in John, always refer to him as the light of the world. So we got Jesus is the truth and Jesus is the light. Now, why am I saying that the truth is life and light is the truth? Well, here's the thing about a person's motive of doing something. We, as people, will do something that, uh, that Satan, unfortunately, the God of this world is blind the minds of men that we're operating in darkness, unfortunately. Uh, he, he is deceiving people based upon the power of spiritual darkness. Yes, spiritual darkness, which is pretty much the power of ignorance, is, you know, hello, how you doing, sir? Is, is keeping people uh, in a position to question things based upon your mind, AKA carnal mind, that, you know, God did this interesting show, revealed this interesting revelation that you know that your mind is in a position of darkness based upon our skull on our head. Our skull is covering uh, our mind, you know? And the thing is, people are operating uh, and thinking off of a, uh, a, a mind that is covered in darkness. Yeah, literally our mind is covered with darkness. And based upon our skull covering our, our our brain pretty much and we think in a place of darkness when we're thinking little naturally and spiritually unfortunately because you know we're born in sin shaped with iniquity and that's not helping the situation right there uh, yes we are in position as in our state of our natural existence of darkness we're in that position and we're making decisions based upon it and what satan's idea that he hopes that people will do is to create your own idea of truth let me say that again create your own ideal of truth 
based upon the knowledge concerning your own mind that is in a position that I described to you of darkness, of natural darkness, and of spiritual darkness. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, as much as we desire to want to believe based upon our viewpoint concerning everything from our own spectrum and, and deem what we believe is truth, we will we will believe it's true. And even though and 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 we will believe it's truth, but ignore the key, the uh, spiritual darkness, ignore the side effects of what we deem is true concerning what we think is right. You know what I'm saying? We we will deem like we think doing sin is right, you know? Of course, because it feels right, you know? He or she looks right, and you know it, it. It looks right. It feels right. Lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life. Oh, interesting situation. Okay, I'm going. Pride of life, and the thing is, you know, uh, this is the mindset, or we, you know, have. And we're making these decisions, and we're uh, deeming, our, uh, we're 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 uh, more likely exalting as what it says in Second Corinthians 10 about that strongholds. Yes, the strongholds. Strongholds are ideas that of uh, that of, of this world that we exalt higher than the knowledge of God. Let me say that again, because that's critical to understand. Strongholds are ideals that we deem that we think is true based upon a, of course, earthly, fleshly mindset. And we deem them higher than the knowledge of God. And you create these strongholds that are, you know, in your mind that you believe strongly. Strongholds are are things that you believe strongly concerning your viewpoint of your, like I say, carnal, natural mind, that you believe that this is true strongly. And guess what? As much as you believe it strongly, it will hold on to your mind. Yes. And people believe this, but not question as what Jesus says in Matthew 13, they do not understand in their heart. They're not trying to question why you believe in this idea. You're not trying to find out how much why you should uh, more likely expound on and, and, and bring to light of that idea to see if it's right or wrong. I mean, are you going to really question this ideal mindset that you have developed in life and that your parents have developed in life or that everybody in your family and, 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 and people around you, you know, that's living in a dark world, that operating in confusion, conflict and chaos, that people are, you know, more accessible of doing negative things than positive things. Are you going to question your mindset that, you know, to see if it's right or wrong? Are you going to do that? Yes, it's the idea of understanding in your heart that will lead to I call it the why that God taught me a why you said why is this why is that and then what why is supposed to do is supposed to produce this thing called that God showed me spiritual watts like a watts of a light bulb that they got a hundred watt they have a 60 watt light bulb 30 watt light bulb you can see where I'm going 100 30, okay uh, all kind of watt light bulbs and uh, these watts work based upon how much you can see in the light you know what I'm saying like if you have a hundred watt light bulb the hundred watt will shine more brighter and cover more space to have light in other places you know you know the lesser it goes you know how much lesser light you're gonna be seeing but the idea what I'm trying to say that truth is life and light is truth that you need if you truly want to see as what this is called reality the watts you're going to need why more likely question why the watts 
of the light to see what is true concerning reality, concerning the light. And guess who's the light and guess who's the truth? Jesus Christ. He declared himself the way, the truth, and the light. The, 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 the way, the truth, and the life, the truth. And Jesus Christ declared himself to be the light of the world. If light, if we're going to see what is truth, we're going to need the truth and the light to see pretty much what is truly right. It's to understand the scenario that I have presented to you. The truth is light and light is truth. All right. I hope you understand it and I hope it makes sense to you. And I hope you got it. To God be the glory here and forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.